dear viewers I, i greet you all in the matchless and wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ and we welcome you all to this gracious word program may the grace of god and peace of christ be with you all and guide you in his ways today our lesson will be based on this verse psalms 32 1 blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered today our topic for this study is covering sins or forgiving sins ultimately the bible tells the only authority to forgive sins is from our god let's read that verse from psalms 852 you have forgiven the iniquity of your people you have covered all their sin god can alone forgive our sins he can alone cover our sins we cannot do anything for this cause by ourselves we can just request or plead or beg god to forgive our sins the ultimate only supreme authority to forgive our sins is our heavenly father the god let's also read some verses which tells us that we can be some agents of god to forgive the sins or we can possess some heavenly characters or divine characters which will help to forgive the sins of others let's read first peter chapter 4 and verse 8 and above all things have fervent love for one another for love will cover a multitude of sins dear beloved brothers and sisters when we love others we cannot find much faults from them it's quite natural you know so the bible clearly tells that only if we love one another love covers multitude of sins so we can be representatives of god and forgive others sins by loving them so this is a heavenly divine character we can possess to forgive sins of others also we can read from james chapter 5 verse 20 let him know that he who turns a sinner from the error of his way will save a soul from death and cover a multitude of sins here we can read that a person who saves a sinner from the error or the sinful way and what he does the bible tells here he can save that soul from death and he can cover multitude of sins so god ultimately has the authority to forgive sins but he gives us some opportunity to save other sins to cover other sins through expressing some divinely characters that is loving them or helping them to come out of sinful way and leading them in the path of righteousness when myself or yourself helping others to come out of the sinful way and leading them in the path of righteousness then we are saving their soul from the sinful way this is a divine character we can possess my dear ones the bible also tells how we can cover the sins of others you know or how can the sins be covered acts chapter 3 verse 19 tells repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out so that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the lord when we repent of our sins then those sins are going to be covered or forgiven as a child of god when i am repenting of my sins or sinful actions then surely god will be merciful to forgive those sins if i am not a child of god then i must follow the way the bible tells for a sinner who has sinned yet obeyed the truth through the baptism he should obey the truth and get the forgiveness of sins through baptism as the bible tells in act chapter 2 verse 38 and beloved people yet another way to cover the sins is mentioned in psalms 32 5 there it tells by confessing our sins we can cover our sins by confessing our sins to the almighty father he is merciful to cover or forgive our sins so by confessing we can cover our sins let us see some examples from the bible some characters from the bible 
those who tried to cover their sins by themselves they didn't go to the lord and ask for his forgiveness ask for his mercy for, so that their sins can be forgiven but instead they thought they can cover their sins and they thought that they can just live as a righteous person let us see some examples in job chapter 31 verse 33 job here mentions about adam so let us read that verse if i have covered my transgressions as adam by hiding my iniquity in my bosom here the bible clearly tells job is mentioning about adam and mentions that adam tried to cover his transgressions by hiding his iniquity in his bosom so we cannot just try to cover our sins because god sees everywhere adam and eve when they sinned against our heavenly father god they tried to hide be behind the trees and thought they can hide themselves and also they can hide their sins but we cannot never and ever cover our sins from the sight of the lord because he can see everywhere he can see everywhere and he can see every person even in their the deepest thoughts of their heart he can see that so we cannot ever cover our sins before our lord god and another person kind we can read about him in genesis chapter 4 when god asked him where is your brother he just replied rudely am i my brother's keeper you see it was an attitude expressed like that because he was trying to cover his sins he tried to project himself before the god as if he didn't do anything against his brother instead it was very clear and god knows everything that he killed his brother and god said the voice of your brother is reaching me and so by this way cain also tried to cover his sins as adam did cain also tried to cover his sins we cannot cover our sins instead we have to request forgiveness from our almighty father for our sins the third person we can read about in the book of joshua is ahan he tried to cover the valuable clothes underneath the ground and he tried to project himself as if he didn't do any sin but it was a terrible sin you know because many people many soldiers lost their lives because of this person's sin and he was not honest to reveal his sin even when there was a very heavy loss for the god's army so sin demands very heavy loss so we cannot ever cover our sins we must not do that one ahan's family all of them were killed because of that man's sin and above that he tried to cover his sin and finally we can read about one person he also tried to cover his sin he was a popular person in the bible we know him very well he was david he didn't realize his sin but when nathan the prophet came and rudely pointed out david's sin david was very honestly accepting his sin and he repented this is the way we should react first we should not cover our sins we should not try to cover our sins because god is watching all over god knows everything god knows our heart god knows our attitude our intentions so we cannot cover our sins and we cannot just go as such doing any sinful actions my dear friends let's also know some verses why we should not try to cover our sins numbers chapter 32 verse 23 says our sins will find us out there will be a thread always connected to our sin and to us we cannot think that we can sin and just go away like that so our sins will find us out as adam and eve were found by god and all the bible characters those who sin were found by god their sins are always known by god so our sins will find us out also we can read from genesis chapter 42 verse 21 that we can read about joseph's brothers their conscience it is speaking to themselves 
they are speaking out of their conscience oh we have done this to our brother we should not have done this and because of that we are in this situation so the second thing lest our conscience condemn us we should not try to cover our sins so our sins will find us out and our conscience should not condemn us so we cannot try to cover our sins the third main thing is god knows all our sins god knows all our sins in hebrews chapter 4 verse 13 we can read about this so every man's heart every man's sinful actions every man's righteous actions are all known by god and no one can hide anything from our almighty father so we cannot try to cover our sins because god knows them all and the fourth thing is in luke chapter 12 verse 2 we can read that they will be revealed at any cost every man's sin will be revealed at any cost and at last before we finish this message let's see in proverbs 28 verse 31 we can read that we have to confess and forsake from our sins so that we can receive the mercy of our god for our sins to be forgiven our part we should confess and forsake that is we should abstain from the sin and then we have to beg to the almighty father for forgiveness we cannot take it for granted oh i have prayed for the forgiveness of sins so god should give me for sure but instead we can go to the god the almighty father's path and we can request the forgiveness of sins by confessing and forsaking that is important most people they confess their sins and again they repeat they confess their sins the next day then the other day they again repeat so god will not be happy about that we have to confess and forsake from our sins so that we can receive the forgiveness of sins let us pray our heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time of listening to your word today we have learned about the forgiveness of sins that we can get if i am a child of god if i am coming to your presence and confessing my sins and requesting the forgiveness of sins you are a god who always want to forgive our sins if i am not a child of god i should obey the truth in baptism and can get the forgiveness of sins so thank you for this word of god which have taught us how we can receive the forgiveness of sins in jesus precious name we pray amen it is god's will that you must be saved first listen to the bible truth and you must believe the truth then you must repent from your sinful life then you must confess by words that the lord jesus christ as the son of god you must be baptized for the remission of your sins every day our lord added those who were being saved into his church be blessed by studying the word of god to receive the voice of truth international magazine and to study the bible systematically through our english bible correspondent course kindly write to us our address gracious word po box 15 arsradi madurai 625016 tamil nadu for more details dial 9244204420 9244214421 God bless you The Church of Christ salutes you